air, air aircraft simulation. Almost in every case, I'm sure someone could argue with me. Just put it in the comments below, but be nice and understand that I only know about half of what I'm talking about. <laughs> and, and use it as an opportunity to teach me and anybody else that's reading and not just a, a way to attack. <laughs> and you can actually, through my comments, send me an email too. I think. I mean, I'll see, but I, I believe there's a way. All right, that's pretty good. Let's go see what happens. I'm going to back up and see what happens when I just gas it full. All right, so that kind of made a circle. And then to throw my, my nodes um, bad again, but it's all good. Um, what I want to do now, though, is have this This is pointed straight down. But of course, when I say that in the orbital world, I'm talking about in relationship to something. And when two objects are in motion, it, it, it really makes things complicated for explanation. So that's why I love this simulation edutainment programming, because what it does is you just get to push buttons and see circles move and it will actually give you an interesting oh look when we okay what was I gonna say it actually gives you an interesting way to learn which is more instinctual you're playing you're seeing you're watching things transform before your eyes and what we just saw happen here when my projected satellite orbit disappeared and was replaced with my actual orbit is what they told me as I was within tolerance of the mission parameters and they consider what I just did a success. Okay, so I'm going to untarget the moon. If we cared, we could fix that 1.5 ascension. Um, We could make this a little more concentric. We could do a lot of stuff. But right now they consider the mission a success. So I guess I'm going to assume I've been ordered to cease and, des cease and desist of all everything and save my fuel and any future adjustments for consideration of the greater management structure or the chain of command. So the chain of command in standard operating procedure rules dictates that I stop now until this situation can be reviewed. Okay, so I was a pilot. I'm in control. Now the mission's done. Unless I go hands off now, I'm really responsible. And I'd rather be responsible in the sense of following orders as a result of a chain of command not making arbitrary decisions and possibly wasting fuel, time, resources on something that they consider is unnecessary. You could take away from something else. So a lot of stuff's going on that we don't know about all the time. And even though, because it's my universe, I know a lot. But I still can role play and have <clears throat> debriefing reports with myself. What we do right, what we do wrong, what could we do different. I can still make command chain command chain of command judgment decisions from the top to the bottom, and this gives me a unique perspective, ultimate power, almost godlike. But it also is an awesome learning experience, and um, <clears throat> so with that, I'm going to view our satellite and by the way we, we've got a pretty big 
we've got a lot of gas up here and we, we can even we even have more air we we can send this in the future to greater places anyway so let's just go ahead go back to the space center I wanted to rename the other one SAT 270 we could do that why we're here so we'll go here let's go ahead and look at our own I know so that's yellow yellow configuration SAT 270 and this is the one we just put up own I know so we're higher that's lower it looks like we have a proposed new mission that we go polar I wanted to go polar anyway and they may be wanting us to take one of these satellites and turn it into this which would be teaching us how much gas it takes to turn ourselves from this into that that's an incredible amount but let's go ahead and fly this one this is the mission you didn't see I did this between um, videos and this is what came up of that of course I was much more efficient this time I was kind of I don't know I was either out of control playing around or something else was going on where I didn't have focus but you can see I've got well it looks like all my gas So, anyway, let's rename this. I'm just going to go SAT270. And we want to make sure it's a relay. So, yep, we'll accept it. And then we'll go back to Space Center. And now we can see what I call my first satellite network, which is 270 low and 090 high. They're traveling in opposite directions of each other. So therefore, now no matter where Kerbin is, they should be able to talk to anyone around the planet through this three network, one ground station, one traveling one direction, one traveling another direction, and they will see how this this can talk to that through this one. It's a bouncing relay. That's what it's all about. So if I need, if the moon is opposite of Kerbin up here and I need to send a message, then so be it, I can, through a three-satellite jump. And if I have the same system around the moon and my ship that I'm trying to talk with is on the dark side, then I should be able to communicate with those two systems, you know, a four-satellite, two planetary bodies, guaranteed communications no matter what very necessary for constant control and communication of manned and unmanned aircraft or spacecraft anyway so let's just go and look now we have one, two, three, four, five missions. We had seven before, and our uh, archives now have position satellite in equatorial orbit of Kerbin, position satellite in equatorial orbit of Kerbin. Mm -hmm. We've got money for that. It was a. Uh, <clears throat> I made it more difficult by using unmanned, um, unstabilized control which was just because we're at this point in our career. I also could have taken a Kerbal there and dropped it off manually by hand and then returned. That would have been interesting to do. You know, they've launched satellites out of the space station like a, with a push like this. Right out the, right out the garbage chute. 
put a satellite in the garbage and open the door. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what we call that when you do a garbage shoot uh, launch. Um, I just don't know what we call that. Um, very interesting. Anyway, on that note, I almost want to go. Let me do my time stamp check. 3921. Okay, I have some time. So I wanted to modify that satellite. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. And this is going to be a pretty easy modification. Let me show you what I'm going to do. Basically going to pull that off of here. I'm going to take this material bay or, or um, whatever you call that and then I need to take one of these put that in there and we need a battery I think I'll just go four Power shield or uh, solar shields. Okay. Heavy control, very heavy control, and communications. So, what, what, let's see what we have. power. Let's get rid of that and put this in here. Alright, I have control. I have my brains. I have my power. I have thrust. I have communications. I have generation. Alright, so now this bottom piece is as much of a relay as this top piece. Um, you can see we have similar parts, battery, brain, control. Battery, brain, control. Solar panels, communications solar panels, communications. This has a docking port, which is a wonderful thing to think about at this time before it's too late. Is All right, so I feel like that's a pretty good modification. Now, when this goes up, it won't leave space junk. And if I wanted to do something even crazier, let's go ahead and modify it one more time. And, um, 
Nah, I'm going to put that back. I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, save. All right, here's what I'm going to do. All right, now in the future, what we can do is we can create a, oh, these objects, they're like disk, and you can build fairings around them and take other little uh, subships. And But right now I'm trying to cheat ahead of the process, and we're going to call that sat B. We're going to save it right now, and I'm afraid that uh, since this is a concept and we have no mission for it, then I'm just going to end the video right here and say, hey, Really appreciate anyone who watches, and um, hopefully this video and the ones I produce now are better than the ones I was doing in the past. Um, sound level is my primary concern. I uh, hope the sound level is good. That's my goal. And once again, thank you for watching.